Here we are at Malvazine, a uh, lovely lake, a uh, typical French type lake. It's around about 18 acres. A um, bit unusual setting, rather than fishing around the outside of the lake, we're basically fishing from what would be an island, like a mushroom shaped island, a little track running onto it, which gives you so much more water to fish at. Rather than everyone cast into the island, we're fishing back out into open water. I've uh, been here a couple of days. I uh, had about 20 fish so far, it's been really productive, lots of runs. Uh, the biggest fish so far is £31. Uh, incredibly fit fit, incredible fit fish, they've been fighting so so hard. Uh, seems to be quite a mixture from deep bodied mirrors to long commons, almost wildy like. I've had some, some lower doubles which have <laughs> really scrapped like the clappers, I think in the bigger fish. Uh, just landed this one, it's a £31 mirror. They've been really, really fighting hard, these fish, and well, as you can see here, it just doesn't want to pack up. Incredibly fit fish. It's a lovely deep bodied one. We've had probably 20 fish in the last, last two nights. And just cracking stamper fish, massive tail on it. <laughs> and there's another one on its way by the sound of it. Just another bleep. This is wild travel to France. Lovely hot weather, loads of runs. What more can we ask for? Look at that, absolutely lovely. Right, we've got some pictures. Time to go back for you. On them. I like these plasticky type slings and mats and such like because you end up you've got puddles in there for the fish instead of it all running away straight away. Always keep them keep them wet. That way they just sit nicely. Just fingers around there, fingers around there, and there's the carp. What a lovely long lean fighting machine. Absolutely a brilliant scrap from that one. Thought it was quite a bit bigger. Beautiful. Okay. And the beauty of these armed slings, lower the fish in there, simply just let them swim off. And there it goes. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.